going to learn about what is mean by brain drain theory. So brain drain theory refers to the educated and professional people departure. Okay, that means departure of educated and the professionals, highly talented people, skilled people from one country to the other country. So whatever the knowledge they have gained, whatever the skills that they have gained, okay, they, they will go to the other countries and they will utilize them. It means that, okay, a country loses talented, skilled, proficiency people. Clear children? Hope so it is clear now. So brain drain theory means the educated people and professionals who will departure from one country to the other country. That means they will leave their native country and they will go and serve in other country. So whatever the skill, knowledge, proficiency that they acquired in the native country, that they will go and serve to the other country. So it means that a talented and still educated Okay, people, the country lose. Okay. So what might be the causes? What might, might be the causes? So causes may be of different uh, things. Maybe because of the high pay or they wanted to live in a stable government or they want the sec security, job security or maybe because of uh, the foreign prestige or maybe because of the political stability okay or maybe to lead a better than compared to the what he is leading in the previous companies or in the previous organization so causes have been bifurcated into the push factors and the pull factors so push factors uh, force the individuals to move voluntarily from to the other places Clear children, so push factors, possibly push, okay, refers to the individual to move himself, that means to move individually to the other places, maybe because of uh, the conflicts may be there, or women may be there, or thoughts may be there in that particular place, or the negative characteristics of the home country, maybe result in that means this might be some of the reasons why the people will move, that means what are the push factors. So here are certain examples that are related to the uh, push factors. So one is that is the absence of the research facilities. That means the person who is absence of research facilities. Maybe uh, because the person is working in the organization, he wanted to upgrade himself. So urban situations, there the facilities won't be there to upgrade himself technologically. To your children, so he wanted to move sometimes. Okay, he wanted to move and upgrade himself. So, because uh, one of the reasons of uh, will come under the push factor is uh, the absence of research facilities. Employment discrimination. Maybe you are in the India, people will face a lot of this problem. Employment discrimination. So, the people will not work, maybe upgrade, maybe that person may come on the recommendation or some other reasons will be there. They will give the top priority or the person will give the priority to that person. And the people who are having really the efficiency, sometimes they will having the use of chances also. So such type of discrimination is there. Means, so definitely a talented people will not work if a discrimination is there in such a situation. So you will resign the job and you will go and work in other places. So such discriminations are also there. Or sometimes if uh, professional people, educated people or highly talented people, sometimes he has to work at the lower salaries and all. Correct no? So he is getting a good opportunity, definitely he will leave the job and he will work wherever he will get and wherever he will satisfy with the salary and the situations. So that is one. The environmental discrimination. Economic underdevelopment is one more important cause or uh, one more cause is the lack of freedom. So lack of freedom. So the person wanted to do more innovative. Suppose if freedom is not there to take the right decisions or to upgrade. Okay, any of the other or the related to the product or related to the marketing and all. Such situations, if freedom is not there of his own decisions, definitely other situation also, the usual or the persons will move from uh, one place to the 
and the place. Poor working conditions. Having highly talented, proficiency. If conditions are not there to work. Okay. So that is also one more important. Poor working conditions is unable to work. And discriminating cultures. Uh, political intolerance. That means political stability won't be there. The government is not giving uh, the support for such uh, uh, the improving activities or the in such uh, in such situations definitely the individual or we can say the individuals move from uh, at least the native country and they go to serve in other country so these are all uh, some of the important push factors and the children so brain brain clearly refers to the departure of education or professional people from a other country means that Okay, a country uses, definitely a country uses educated and talented and proficiency people. So what might be the causes? Causes may be either because of push factors and the pull factors. Push factors means that is uh, the individuals are forced to move from one place to the other place and they will serve in that uh, country. So what are the conditions? Maybe they remain or maybe because of the conflicts, maybe because of the political instability. Or maybe because of a drought. Okay, so and apart from that, those causes, these are also some important factors, push factors, absence of research facilities, employment discrimination, economic underdevelopment, lack of freedom, poor working conditions, lack of job opportunities, discriminating cultures, and the political intolerance. So coming to the pull factors. So what are the pull factors? So uh, the pull factors are uh, uh, what we can say the those factors, the destination country to attract individuals or the group of individuals uh, to leave their home country and to go and serve in other countries. Maybe reasons uh, the positive characters, many that will be there. Uh, like they may pay the higher salaries or they wanted to have the, they wanted having the prestige that a hard being in the quarry for 10 years that foreign prestige okay to feel proud so such things are there these are the, uh, like that uh, conditions or the situations make the people to be very uh, proud and so such will fall as come under the pull factors like superior economic outlook uh, prestige of foreign training uh, they, uh, they may face uh, the political stability will be there okay modernized educational system and uh, the superior uh, training they will give with advanced technology and the intellectual freedom will be there, they will have the um, freedom to take the decisions and uh, definitely with all the facilities are there, means they will be the rich cultures and all. Okay, more jobs will be there. Definitely when the people have served in that particular country, that is something said, they will have better opportunities when they return from uh, the foreign countries to the native countries also. So that they will have more job opportunities. And definitely they will pay more, better economic opportunities. So all these will come under the um, pull factors. Correct children? Okay. So besides this, there are other factors also. Some of which can be in specific countries even for the individuals also. Like uh, they may come after uh, retirement. Uh, retirement also will have the opportunities. And after retirement, uh, they wanted to live a peaceful and comfortable life because they earn more there. So when they will return back to their native countries and all, they will live a happy life with a peaceful life without working any conditions. Okay. Now next we are going to learn about what is the uh, what is the impact of uh, the brain drain theory. Okay, children. So. Now we are going to learn about what is the impact of a brain drain theory. So the brain drain theory, as we discussed in the previous class, it refers to the departure of educated and skilled people to the other countries. It means that country loses the skilled people, professional people. The causes also we have discussed, like the push factors and the pull factors. So if the people departures to the other countries, all educated and skilled people departures and serve in the other country, what is the impact? So we have the positive impact also 
and the negative impact also. So coming to the some of the positive impacts, as the people, the professionals or the educated people, when they move to the other countries and sell there for the in any other industries or in the organizations, they will learn and they will come back with the, uh, the new skills. So they will learn the new skills, they will acquire the new skills and whatever the skills that they have learned when they come back to the native country, they, they will use all the skills what they have learned in the other countries. So this is one important positive aspect of the brain drain. Okay. Next is about the expertise. Definitely when a person work continuously in the modern sophisticated conditions where in particular organizations are, they will become the expertise in their particular field. So again they will come and they will use okay, the, whatever the knowledge that they have acquired, expertise in a particular field, either it may be in the management or it may be in the marketing or it may be related to the production. Next about the remittances. So what they will earn there? So whatever that they have learned, definitely they will send their, that money to their dependents. That means to the native country. With the, definitely the foreign exchange. Okay, that will be improved. Our country's economy will also be improved when the exchange will be takes place. Remittances will help the economy of the country. And stimulates the country's economy as they are earning more and more, as they are sending more and more economies. So these are all some of the positive effects of uh, the positive impact or effects of the brain drain theory. So we have the negative impact also. So negative impact as I told you, the brain drain theory refers the departure of the educated and the professional people to move to the other country. So definitely when they move, whatever the skill that they have gained in the native country, instead of using in the native, that they will go and use in the other countries, what is the use? Correct, no? So the country loses the skill and education of educated professionals. And second negative important impact is uh, the shortage of uh, skilled people. That means the people, if all the skilled people, the trained people, professionals, they move, keep on moving to the other countries and serving for the other country. So what about the country's position related to the either in the industrial growth or the economic growth of the country? Correct? So definitely there will be a shortage of skilled people will be there. And definitely there is no future for the economic growth of the country as the people are moving and they, we can't see the um, future to the potential future to the entrepreneurs or for the business people. Lack of innovative ideas. So definitely when the people keep on moving, okay, whatever the investment that have been kept on the people to gain the knowledge or for the education and all, okay, we, we lose the all innovative ideas and the investment what we have incurred on the one particular individuals, either by the government or by the families, it is a loss to the government and as well as to the families also. And then definitely when all these situations are alike, we can't see the much of the industrial growth. So these are all some important negative impact of uh, the brain drain theory. So what the government can do or what the um, individual can do? So we can take the certain steps to improve, isn't it? Uh, that means uh, the people should not move from our country. They have to work. Correct. Now recently, the government of India has taken one a very bold step. That means people who are there, that is NRIs, all these people they have placed in the scientists, okay, in the appropriate departments under the Ministry of Science and the Technology. If this is the case, we are keeping on. We are keeping in the high places and positions. Definitely the people who gain the knowledge, who are the professionals, who are the skilled people, who are the trained people, they will not move to the other countries. The government has to give the top priority to these people. Correct? No. So we have to take certain solutions and the okay, higher we have to pay uh, the good educational facilities and also higher wage. Um, that means we have to pay the good salaries and the Good educational facilities has to be provided for their children 
high price goods to be provided with the latest technology and all. If these are the conditions provided by the government, definitely the people, that means the professionals or the highly technologized or the highly technological innovative skilled people, they will not leave the home country and they will not go to the other countries. Okay, thank you children. Have a nice day.